you get my book. <laughs> it's whatever you want. It doesn't have to be five bucks. If you want to get five bucks, cool. But if you want to just give me a dollar so I can get a bottle of water, that's cool too. <laughs> um, this piece is what happens when I don't sleep. So I don't dream. And I'll keep it clean. There's a couple of F words in here, so I'll take them out. It's called Last Night. You want an emotional response? You keep poking and prodding, hoping to get some kind of emotional response. You think because I don't cry that I don't feel. Last night you bring up wanting to jump off the train platform to the tracks. While my lips tell you you'll probably not die instantly, the scribbles between the lines are saying, don't do it. But you don't hear the scribbling. I'm not acknowledging your depressive talk. You can't get an emotional response from me like that. Last night, tears stung in my eyes, but you won't know it unless you hear me perform this piece. I brood. I stare off into the distance. I don't meet your eyes. I keep walking when you stop to look at Santa and Humpty Dumpty. I rush down the escalator, hoping to trip and fall and get caught and injured at the bottom. I catch a glimpse of you, 20 feet behind me as I pass through the turnstile. I stand near the edge of the platform, wondering it what it would feel like to be crushed under the screeching metal of the train stopping. I briefly ignore you as you try to apologize without really apologizing. Bunan says, die while you're alive and be absolutely dead, then do whatever you want. It's all good. I must not be absolutely dead, because it's not all good, because I can't do whatever I want. What I want is to go back to the way things were with us. We had less room, and therefore less room for bullshit. My only re emotional response was a touch to your back as I squeezed past you to go to the bathroom, a kiss good morning or good night, and arousal when those kisses led to more. When the single bed we shared was more than enough room, and you said I wasn't snoring, and when our biggest problem consisted of when your soon-to-be ex found out about us. Now, I'm reclining on a couch, writing a poem to keep myself from crying after you tried to climb into my single bed with me. When I rebuked you rudely, your feelings were hurt. You want an emotional response? I'm raw. I won't do the breakup, makeup thing. One or both of us thought a breakup would be best for some reason. And I know it wasn't about sex last night. I know it was just you trying to feel me again. We haven't touched much, a friendly pat on the back or a familiar peck on the lips, our feet touching while watching a movie, or the time-saving shared shower yesterday morning. Having you next to me without knowing what was going to happen was not what I wanted. Hurting your feelings was not what I wanted either, because your emotional response was filled with venom. So here I am, writing out my feelings, trying to make sense of them all, and I'm hoping my emotional response here now can help me focus mentally later. I'm hoping when you hear these words, you understand you can't get an emotional response from me. I am an emotional response. Mm.